Hello, my name is Rufus and I'm a technical animator and I thought I'd put together a video to explain the advanced twist controls in Spline OK. Spline OK gets used a lot in character rigging from anything such as character's IK spine to tentacles to environmental props such as rope and at face value advanced twist controls can seem a little confusing so I thought I'd consolidate a bit of knowledge here for future me or anybody else who's having a little trouble understanding them. So to start off with I'm just going to explain what's in the scene. I've made my own custom axes here, it's exactly the same as the viewport axes and it doesn't really do anything, it's just a more visible version of it. The scene is Y up, so that's green red for the x-axis and z is blue. Underneath that I've got four IK handle spline systems and each system has its own joint chain and each joint chain has its own lo local rotation axes and I've turned on local rotation ax axes so you can see them in the viewport Underneath that I've got a group for me where all the meshes are and underneath this for each IK spline handle I've assigned simple controls to the start and end of each of them so that's one control for the start and one control for the end and it's just coincidental that they're joints that's really so I can bind the NURBS curve of the spline IK handle to something such as this joint. So what are advanced twist controls? Well if I select the spline IK handle and then go to the, its attributes in the attribute editor and select IK solver attributes the advanced twist controls live here and if I enable them here you can see that straight away the joint chain gets twisted which is why I think they can be a little confusing at face value. So what's going on here? Well, this world up type is a vector that is used to calculate the local rotations of this joint chain in order to stabilize the rotations, essentially to provide a twist to them. So first of all, we need to make sure that we've got the right axes selected for the joint chain and to understand what the world up type is. We've got different ways of selecting the world up type and currently it's set to scene up. So if I just turn it off here you can see that the world up for or the up axes for this joint chain is X and that the forward axis is Y. So turning it back on we want our forward axis to be positive Y and the up axis to be positive X and then we get our shape back. So it does a calculation to uh, restore the orientation of the, uh, of the joint chain. And once that's done, then you can select start and end from the twist value type, and this allows a, a, rota a twist rotation of the joint chain like that. So that's really what it does. So looking at our next joint chain now, if I select Y up here, you can see that we've got a different um, set of axes for our joint chain. This is now a forward axis of X and Y up and if I select it from the outliner you can see that advanced twist controls is already selected and the default settings are indeed positive X and Y up so this doesn't twist out of shape. However what if I use a different world up type such as object up? Now straight away you can see that it twists out of shape and this is because it wants to get 
this vector to calculate the rotations of the joint chain from an object. So let's give it an object. I'm going to create a locator, take the name, select its IK handle, and then put the name of the object here into our world up object. Now if I select the object you can see that there's a, ro there's a, a relationship between what this object is doing and the local rotations of the joint chain. And if I select the object and then give it a value of 90 and translate y, you can see that we get our um, we get our mesh shape back. And if I turn on twist type start and end, we get the twist as we'd expect it to. And if I select its controls, we've got some degree of, of rotation in the controls as well. So this is behaving the way I want it to. Now, why is 90 um, relevant? Well, the truth of the matter is I don't actually know. I don't know enough about vector math to articulate why 90 is the correct offset for a um, for a, a, uh, for a world up vector and if anybody uh, does know um, vector math uh, better than I do then please please come <laughs> please comment on why um, but I have a suspicion that it's something to do with cosine in the um, uh, 90 degree angle in cosine is equal to 1 and that vectors are usually expressed in uh, in a in a val in a normalized value of zeros and ones but I could be completely wrong um, that's just my understanding of how the world up type works for a an object up world up type vector so the last joint chains we've got are two joint chains which are um, exactly the same they're both Z up uh, with X facing forward uh, here's one and the duplicate one here um, has a slight difference in the way that the controls are set up and this is to explain uh, one of the settings in advanced twist controls a little more clearly. So if I select this one, select its IK handle and enable twist controls, it flips out because it's looking for uh, Y up in the ax up axes and we want positive Z to get our shape back. But this time I'm going to use object rotation up start and end and this is going to get its vectors from the start and end controls of this um, of this spline IK handle. So I'm going to take the start control and put that into world up object one and then type the second control name into world up object two and nothing much has changed um, except if I take the second object you can now see that it's assigned that twist control to uh, the forward axis rotation of the second control so there's now no longer a need to um, access it from the twist value type here it's already accessible in this control here so let's do the same for this joint chain and I'm going to select its IK handle, enable twist controls and uh, select positive Z as its up axis and then select object up, object rotation up start and end for the world up type and assign these controls here. So go back to here and assign this one here and 
assigned the end one here and you can see that the joint chain is twisting out of shape. So why is this? Well the up vectors for these objects are set to a set to y up. So this is x, y and z. But if you look at the controls here, there's actually a rotation in the in the joint orientation. And this start control here is actually Z up. So if I go back to the IK handle, get rid of the Y up orientation and set it to Z up. And then we're going to look at the second control. And you can see that this is actually negative Y in its up axes. So go back to the up vector 2 for the second control and declare that as minus y then we get our joint chain back and if I select the end control there's our twist value um, because we've set it up as object rotation start and end and you can see that after a certain amount the object flips out like that and I'll explain why that is. So this spline OK is looking for a vector in order to constrain the local rotation axes. It's looking for uh, an up vector in order to calculate the um, the axes, the, uh, the rotational axes of these joints. Now a great way to get around that is by using relative and this is a way of calculating the rotations of the joints without a world up type and the benefit of this is that this gives you an infinite amount of rotations as you can see without it trying to figure out which is the world up and consequently it doesn't flip out at all and you can get some um, you can get some kind of some cool behavior from it like uh, I don't know more like a, a kind of cartoon rig where limbs can um, uh, just twist around forever uh, unfortunately if we select our control uh, the the forward axes rotations aren't assigned to to our control anymore so we need to get around this so if I open up the node editor and here's our end control and if I select the axes and bring that in and expand that we want to get the X rotation from our control and hook it up to which one is it twist start and end here and expand that and twist end here and select that. Now you can see that our X axis is linked to the twist control of the um, spline OK like that. Um, the mesh is starting to crease because it's quite um, low resolution it's not been subdivided enough but uh, yeah that's uh, that's how to set that up so that's really the basics or the most common settings in advanced twist controls covered and if you made it this far well done if you like the video then give us a thumbs up or if you've got something to add then let us know in the comments thanks very much cheers